Hello everybody troop, welcome back, I'm the real Andy of Ray Hills and welcome to our top pop of the morning But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here And let's talk about this mess Hey, Dios mío, no Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, it is extremely hot here in LA. We're still in the middle of a heat wave right now. That's why I don't have my usual hoodies because it is so hot. Like literally, I have the AC on and it's still hot. It's like 100 degrees out there right now. So we are melting here in Los Angeles. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna end up soon next week. But I am so over this heat. I can't, I can't deal with this heat. It's just too damn much. All right, guys, let's start going through all this list of pop culture because the tea is popping. So for item number one, it is time to talk about Chris Rock again. He is doing his tour, you know, of comedy and all of that. And it's like on every single stop, he finds a way to, of course, talk about the Oscars. Of course, talk about Will Smith mm. and drag him on a new way, which I mean... It's not, I'm not mad about it. Like He owned that right when Will Smith decided to stand up and slap him across the face on like basically international TV, right? But anyways, this time he is saying that Will Smith is fake and that he hopes that now that we saw the real him, uh, we never go back to his mask self, something like that. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, he said that uh, you are right that it, the slap hurt. He says, got them right. The motherfucker hit me with over a bullshit joke. The nicest joke I ever told. Will did the impression of a perfect person for 30 years and he ripped his mask off and show us he was as ugly as the rest of us. Wherever the consequences are, I hope he doesn't put his mask back on again and let his real face breathe. I see myself in both men. I mean, yeah, like I was saying, I mean, explode it as much as you can. <laughs> get those coins, Chris, get those coins. And But at, at some point, I'm guessing he's going to have to move on as well, right? I don't know. So anyways... Let's move on into item number two. And this is sad news with a little bit of good news and is uh, our own Jane Fonda. She has come forward uh, telling the world that she has been uh, diagnosticated with cancer. Yep, the star, I mean the legend, okay? She is 84 years old, like her movies are legendary. I love her. And she's uh, Janda Fonda announced on Friday that she has cancer and she's already undergoing chemotherapy treatments. She says, so my dear friends, I have something personal I want to share. I have been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and have started chemo treatment. This is a very treatable cancer, 80% of people survive, so I feel very lucky. Uh, Jane Fonda also called herself lucky to have health insurance and access to the best doctors and treatment, acknowledging that she is privileged as a celebrity. She says almost every family in America has had to deal with cancer at one time or another, and far too many don't have access to quality health care. I am receiving, and this is not right. I'm just like, I hope, I mean, I know 84 is like old, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that she's right, you know, and that this, that she's not going to be losing this battle anytime soon. Because did you guys watch uh, Grace and Frankie? I love the show. I recommend it to you 100%. Um, so let's all pray for Jane Fonda that she is right and that she's going to get through this. Now, 
let's jump into item number four this time the kardashians are being slammed again but this time for not from none other than miss bethany frankel ex real housewife of new york uh she is calling them out for all the plastic surgery all especially for the photoshop uh pictures okay Kim Kardashian was in the middle of another scandal the other day when she posted a picture that it was heavily Photoshop, you know, to make seem her neck was longer and, you know, like it was a lot of Photoshop, you know, and it's like, what are you teaching to young girls, you know, that why are we still using Photoshop and this weird extreme filters to put our pictures out there is not teaching anything good to our children basically you're saying like keep being plastic keep being fake and it's not like not love yourself you know and i don't think that's the right message that someone as big as the kardashian with that platform should be spreading right uh Bethany says, this is not what I look like. She posted a picture and she says, this is not what I look like. And you know that because I am not vain and show you the real me. But if I posted a version of this every day, you might start to believe that it might be. This is just how the store this has all gotten. Filtering is lying. It is deceptive. It makes women feel badly about themselves. It makes young girls insecure and obsessed with an unattainable perfection. It makes middle-aged women and mothers feel insecure about themselves. This creates a false ideal for men. It's the opposite of inspirational. It's destructive. It's irresponsible. It's insecure and it's inaccurate. There is a line between making an effort to look pretty and an outright falsehood. And, you know, dragging, she's dragging not only Kim Kardashian, but all the Kardashian clan. Khloe Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian, Kris Jenner, Kendall Jenner. The whole clan, because it is getting to be too much. Every single picture needs to be photoshopped. Every single picture needs to have a bunch of filters. It's like... When are we going to be seeing the real then? You know? So that's it. Now for item number four, remember that I told you on my top up of the morning yesterday that Britney Spears' sons have break up. They're silence, and you can tell that those kids have been brainwashed AF. We don't, you know, like those statements, even some of them even look like they were written for them. I wouldn't be surprised if Jamie Spears is already trying to do something shitty with them now that he cannot control Britney Spears anymore. But anyways, Britney Spears is coming forward, responding to her kids like a true mom, okay? And listen to this. She says, I have tried my best at being the best person I can be. To be basically held hostage in homes under nurses and bullshit. I hope my kids one day understand my reasoning of my play in water revealing myself as any woman will being held under blankets and supervision under the conservatorship. Finally, at 40, without the restraints of what my family did to me, I say to my son Jaden that I send all the love in the world to you every day for the rest of my life. My love for my children has no boundaries and it deeply saddens me to know his outcry of saying I wasn't up to his expectations of as mother. And maybe one day we can meet face to face and talk about this openly. Maybe, dear child, you can explain to me why our family will do that to anyone. I help your father, who hasn't had a job in 15 years. I assume it is easier for you guys not to have someone check on you to make sure you are doing your homework. I am sure the standards of your dad smoking weed every day benefits you daily life at 15 and 16 to partake in a very cool generation. I completely understand your need to live with your father as I 
had to play the perfect role for 15 years for absolutely nothing. I am so happy I was able to carry four tours, Josh the X Factor, and way more. I did that for you. And Preston, I'm aware of your gift. I know you are a teacher in my life. And dear child, I am a teacher for you as well. It's horrible to see your dad be a hypocrite and say the media is horrible, yet he has you talking about personal matters to them. It, if you could pause for a second, remember where you came from. I hope you can look in the mirror and remember, you are my child and always will be. Since Preston didn't speak, I send my love. I will love nothing more than to see you two face to face. Keep playing your gift on the piano. You and your brother both are brilliant. And I am so proud to call you both mine. As for my mental health, my dear chill child, understand you must learn to pick up a book and read one before you resort to even thinking about my intellect, sweetheart. Tell your father to go try and at least not mount the law. Uh, P.S. or peace, I don't know. If you can honestly sit back and say with your sensible, brilliant mind what Mimo and Papa did to me was fine and call them not bad people, then yes, I have failed as a mother. And hopefully that's a chat for you and your father to sit face to face and try to learn what's good. Girl. Well done. Well done. Because those kids need to learn. And they are not kids anymore. Okay. They are 15, 16. They know a lot. So I think they, of course, they want to be with their father, smoking weed, bringing porn stars around, living off of Britney because she's the one sending him $100,000 every month. Of course, that's what they need to keep doing. Shame on them. Shame on them. And I'm hoping that every single friend that they have around is telling them, bitch, you are wrong. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's it. <laughs> that's the top pop of the day. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about all of these messes. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.